We have been looking at the wrong date. Everyone is obsessed with December 19th, the flyby. But if you want to understand what 3i Atlas actually is, you have to go back to the beginning. You have to go back to the day we found it, July 1st, 2025. Because a piece of data has just surfaced that the mainstream media has completely ignored. And when you put it next to the 3i Atlas timeline, it stops being a coincidence and starts looking like an activation signal. On July 1st, we detected 3i Atlas entering our system from the constellation of Sagittarius. Less than 24 hours later, on July 2nd, the Earth was hit by the longest gamma ray burst ever recorded in human history. And guess where it came from? The exact same spot in the sky. Today, we are going to talk about this gamma ray burst dubbed GRB, 250702b. We are going to talk about the three pulses that match the three in 3i Atlas. And we are going to ask the question, did a signal from five billion light years away just turn this object on? Let's look at the raw data because this is statistically impossible. On July the 2nd, less than a day after the Atlas alert went out, our detectors were slammed by a record-setting explosion. This was not a normal burst. Normal gamma ray bursts last for a few seconds, maybe a minute. This one lasted for 24 hours. It was the longest duration event we have ever seen. It was the second strongest burst of all time, second only to the famous boat event in 2022. But here is where it gets chilling. The burst wasn't chaotic. It had structure. There were three distinct pulses over a seven-hour period. Three pulses. The third one was the strongest. And they followed a rhythmic beat. The time interval between the first and second pulse was exactly 2,825 seconds. The third pulse hit exactly four times that interval later. This isn't random noise. This is a tempo. It is a beat. It looks suspiciously like a transmission. Now skeptics will say space's big things explode all the time. Sure, but space is 360 degrees. What are the odds that the most powerful, longest-lasting signal ever detected would come from the exact same coordinates as the interstellar object we just found on the exact same day? 3i Atlas entered from the constellation Sagittarius. This gamma ray burst originated just above Sagittarius. They are virtually on top of each other. We're talking about two distinct cosmic events lining up in time and space perfectly. One is a rock, allegedly travelling at 60 kilometres per second. The other is a beam of light travelling for 5 billion years, and they both arrived at Earth's doorstep at the same second. If you believe that is a coincidence, I have a bridge to sell you. This looks like a synchronisation event, and this is exactly why you need to be subscribed to this channel. The mainstream news is ignoring this timeline, because it doesn't fit their safe narrative, but we are tracking every single data point. The official report on the gamma ray burst notes something strange. The X-ray detectors picked up precursor activity exactly one day before the main blast. That is July 1st, the exact moment 3i Atlas was flagged by our telescopes. It is almost as if the wake-up call was sent the moment the object was detected. And look at what has happened since. Since that signal hit 3i Atlas has behaved like a machine, it developed the anti-tail, it shifted to electric blue, it started glowing in X-rays itself, Remember the X-ray data from the European Space Agency I showed you in the last video? That is not normal for a cold comet. But if 3i Atlas was a receiver and that gamma ray burst was the broadcast, then we are watching the system power up. We are watching the energy from that burst being utilised. The burst had a 1 or 2 5 beat pattern. It wasn't just an explosion, it was a sequence. Some astrophysicists are comparing it to a carrier wave. If 3i Atlas is the third interstellar object, and this burst had three, distinct pulses. Are we looking at a confirmation signal? The universe is full of noise, but it is rarely full of rhythm. Chaos doesn't keep a beat. Intelligence does. And the fact that this burst came from a galaxy five billion light years away adds a layer of cosmic horror to this. It means if this is connected, the timing was set in motion before the Earth even existed. It means this rendezvous was scheduled five billion years ago. And while the world is worried about the flyby on the 19th, no one is talking about the alignment coming in January. This is the part that worries me. From January 6th to January 9th, we are going to see a perfect planetary alignment. Earth, Jupiter and the Sun will align with Gemini. Opposite to them, Mars and Venus will align with Sagittarius, the source of the signal and the source of Atlas. We are entering a window of high geometric resonance, right after this object has been activated. If 3i Atlas is going to do something, release a payload shift trajectory again or answer the signal, 
It will likely be when the planets lock into this grid. We have covered every angle on this channel. The blue shift. The poisonous gas. The scout theory. But this gamma ray burst changes the context of everything. It suggests that Three Eye Atlas is not alone. It suggests it is part of a network, a network that spans billions of years and billions of light years. We detected the object and the universe immediately sent a verification code, a code that lasted 24 hours, a code that screamed across the entire electromagnetic spectrum from radio to gamma, and since then the object has been on. The mainstream media is ignoring this connection because it sounds too much like science fiction. They will tell you, it's just a coincidence. But smart people look at the data. July 1st, Atlas found. July 1st, X-ray precursor. July 2nd, record-breaking signal from the same location. July 2nd, Atlas trajectory confirmed. This is a sequence of events, and we are the ones standing in the middle of it. I want you to think about what happens on December 19th. When 3 Eye Atlas makes its closest approach, it will be bathed in the solar wind. It will be active. And now we know it has already received its wake-up call. We are not watching a rock pass by. We are watching a system that has just come online. I'm going to be tracking the X-ray output of 3 Eye Atlas every single day, leading up to the 19th. If that X-ray glow increases if it starts pulsing in time, with that gamma ray beat, then we have our confirmation. We are building a community here that refuses to accept the silent treatment from the agencies. We are connecting the dots they are too afraid to touch. Join us. Because if this January alignment triggers what I think it might, you are going to want to know about it first. The signal was sent. The object is here. The only question left is, what happens when the countdown hits zero? I'll see you in the next update.